morning, everyone. My name is Karen Grady. I am a sophomore in the college studying chemistry, and I'm here to talk today about Persea americana, commonly known as avocado, and it is a member of the Loraceae family. So a quick overview. Um, the common names of avocado include um, aguacate in Spanish, avocate in um, Portuguese, and cura, which is um, one of the indigenous Mexican languages, um, the name for it. And it originates in Central America, specifically along the um, Pacific coast of Central America and in Mexico. And it grows in the subtropical and tropical climates of those regions. And today it is, it is cultivated throughout the world in tropical and subtropical climates from Africa to Israel and even in New Zealand. And Mexico is um, the lead producer and exporter of avocados. Um, so a brief botanical description, there are six um, species in the Persea uh, genus and um, the, the one that we commonly eat, consume is um, Persea americana and it has nine subspecies, which three of which are domesticated and are commonly known as the West Indian, Guatemalan, and Mexican varieties of avocado. Um, pictured there is a Mexican avocado, also commonly known as a Haas, Haas avocado. And each um, subspecies um, has different varieties of fruit, and they range in size from 3.5 centimeters to 20 centimeters long and have dark to pale green um, flesh that is rough or smooth. Um, but the flesh of all of them is generally a pale yellow green color. Um, and they're the trees um, grow up to 30 meters tall and have dark green leaves and the flowers actually are, in my opinion, the most interesting part of the avocado um, plant because um, they first open up either in the morning or the afternoon as female and they stay that way for about two hours and the flowers reclose and they open again as male. Um, and there's no other plant that does this um, that we know of, um, which is, indicates like very interesting um, biological activity. So um, when the female flowers are successfully pollinated through self-pollination or through insect pollination, um, they grow into single-seeded fruits um, with green flesh like depicted there. And so some traditional uses <laughs> of avocado include as food and medicine. The fruit has been consumed as food and cultivated for over 10,000 years and there's evidence um, of cultivation dating back to um, 4000 BC um, that we found in excavations in Peru. And some ways that avocado is eaten, it, it can be broken in half and eaten just with like a little salt and with tortillas um, as breakfast. Um, and another common way that we see it consumed is as guacamole, which is um, when the flesh is mashed up and added with other ingredients, including um, onions, uh, garlic, tomatoes, and usually a little lime or lemon juice. Um, and traditional uses as a medicine include as a hypertension treatment, which in multiple countries has been used as a decoction of the leaves or mixed with other um, plants. Um, in addition, the seed has been applied, ground up and applied to toothaches. Um, also, it has been combined with other plants as a treatment for lice and for snake bite. Um, so the chemistry and pharmacology of avocado include up to 25% lipid content or fat content, and the main fat component in the fruit is oleic acid with um, almost 700,000 parts per million. And this um, uh, clear colorless oil is also found in many other plants and animal fats. Um, some of the main chemical components other than fat are alkanols, flavonoids, terpenoid glycosides, and ferrin derivatives. Um, one alkanol that is particularly interesting is person, which is a toxin for um, animals, and it's found in the leaves, and it is an alkanol, um, and it produces negative effects in lactating mammals, which inspired um, some in vitro studies of that compound, and it was found to have anti-cancer activities um, in, with breast cancer, and some other um, biological activities include analgesic effects, and it was found that an extract of the leaves produced um, analgesic effects that were um, similar to um, two milligrams per kilogram dose of morphine. Um, in addition, it was found that two alkanol alkanols in um, the fruit extract produced um, inhibited 
oral cancer um, through um, a specific pathway um, due to it prevented the phosphorylation of protein kinase and um, growth factors in the cancer cells. Um, in addition, many of the compounds in um, avocado produce antioxidant effects. Um, in addition, it was found in one study with rats that normal tensive rats were given um, an extract of the fruit and it resulted in hypotensive effects. Um, so some clinical studies include um, avocado and soybean on subafon, on sorry, excuse me. Um, basically, it's the parts of the plant that don't form soap. Um, <laughs> and it's used in the treatment of osteoarthritis, which we know is a degenerative joint disease. Um, and it was found that using these extracts re resulted in a decrease in the use of NSAIDs for um, pain and inflammation management, um, but no long-term effects were found. Um, in addition, um, studies among diets enriched with avocados and olive oil were found to have um, anti-diabetic effects um, by lowering cholesterol and triglycerides in the blood. So some contraindications of avocado include avocado allergy, which is more likely to be found if a patient has um, allergies such as latex, chestnut, or other fruits. Um, in addition, um, avocado causes, it, causes an interference with warfarin and other anticoagulants because it counteracts those effects. Um, in addition, as I mentioned earlier, person is toxic to animals. Um, currently, um, there's minimal use of avocado at, in allopathic medicine other than the um, avocado soybean unsopifying Yes, use um, in the treatment of osteoarthritis, which is also used as a dietary supplement um, in CAM therapies. In addition, the oil is also used to treat skin disorders, and it is also used in hair and skin products due to um, its emollient pro properties. And in conclusion, um, there's a long history of use of avocados in the Americas and now throughout the world. Um, it is agriculturally and economically significant. Um, worldwide and there has been um, extensive biological activity found, um, but further research is needed for a full understanding of the avocado. Thank you.